We've been talking about the potentials for the integration in Black Ops coming over to Warzone coming November 14th. So far, we've covered the ARs and the SMGs in the videos that I'll tag here at the end. But today, we're going to talk about what is potentially the most game-breaking weapon class if it goes one way and potentially the most useless if it goes another. Today, we're talking about the marksman rifles. So, let's get into it. If you were part of the Warzone 1 Black Ops meta, you know that at one point we had what was the DMR-14 meta. The DMR-14 meta was a new class of weapons called Tactical Rifles. They came over from the Marksman Rifles and were reclassed for Black Ops into Warzone's integration, and they received a massive amount of damage inside of Warzone, and the... Marksman rifles right now currently inside Black Ops are currently some of the most broken weapons that you can get a hold of Primarily for a few different reasons first off the AEK right now is absolutely dominating in multiplayer the one burst potential at multiple ranges with rapid fire becomes Absolutely busted especially considering if anybody even halfway decent with their aim gets a hold of it and if not the rapid fire makes up for any shots missed because it boost the rate of fire just enough so that the gun feels nearly fully automatic yet still maintaining the extremely hyper lethal burst fire making these guns very accurate at most ranges and some of the strongest weapons in the game now that is the aek the swat tends to be considered the worst of the marksman rifles and it very much is so the numbers even go to prove it and then we've got the weapons like the sarkov which is the only marksman rifle available in the game that features a one-shot headshot and then the DM-10, which is a two-shot pretty much all of the time. But let's li really look at those numbers now and how they translate over into Warzone. Up first, the 100 HP, AEK at 526, DM-10 at 400, SWAT at 508, and the Sarkov at 300. And this is, of course, going for body shots. Uh, once you start factoring in headshots, the Sarkov is instant, and then all the other ones kill just a wee bit faster, but not even really that much. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is these numbers are slightly misleading. Very similar to how the dit here currently works in Warzone. When you land that first shot is when the counter starts. So realistically, though the SWAT says 508 and the AEK says 526, these are essentially zero because they become an insta kill at that time. And when you factor in not like a basic zero at the beginning of any TK, these numbers drop dramatically and very fast. So then let's look at them under rapid fire. AEK at 298, DM10 at 340, SWAT at 425, and the Sarkov sitting at 270. Now, these numbers are astronomically low in any sort of shooting situation when you consider again that first shot is potentially lethal for both the AEK and the SWAT making theirs essentially enough zero the Sarkov being at zero if you land a headshot and the DM-10 always being around 340 because it's a two tap to bring someone down even with a headshot it's still only a little over 70 damage even with the headshot barrel so it's still going to be a two shot pretty much all the time now here's where it starts to get a bit nutty is if these weapons are brought into Warzone in one way, they're absolutely broken. And if they are brought in in another way, they're absolutely useless. So let's look at it under the guys that they bring them in as a Martian rifle, as Martian rifles are known as now inside of Warzone. If they are brought in and these are required to use sniper ammo, these things are most likely going to be useless because the amount of ammunition that will be required to feed these monsters will be way higher than you'll be able to reliably carry outside of the Sarkov because the Sarkov is single shot and still has a relatively reliable damage model the Sarkov will be mostly functional the DM-10 will be the second most functional and the SWAT and AEK will fall off horrendously but if these follow the way that the Black Ops integration worked inside of Warzone 1 with Black Ops Cold War and goes that way inside of Black Ops 6 into Warzone, these will take AR ammo. And if these take AR ammo, these are about to be some of the most monstrous, most oppressive weapons you're going to be able to get a hold of inside of the Black Ops weapon sets. Because when you start looking at these weapons with 300 plus rapid fire, the numbers start looking a little bit deceiving. So you're going to see the DM-10 sits at 1200, the SWAT sits at 1524, and you are seeing the AK-894 and 810. So these numbers are on par, or if not worse, than all the ARs and SMGs, not just inside of Black Ops, but also inside of Warzone itself. But 
If you start landing headshots with these things, they become absolutely monstrous. The AEK is sitting at 600 milliseconds, the DM-10 at 540, the SWAT at 840, 894, still absolutely useless. If you're learning anything from this, do not use the SWAT inside Warzone unless you just really have to. The Sarkov sitting at an effective 570. Now keep in mind, all these numbers are going at about 34.5 meters, so about the average engagement range for a lot of uh, marksman rifles, especially burst rifles. These are a good, just reliable mid-range. This is actually about when Black Ops considers your landing long shots, which that's uh, whatever Call of Duty wants to do, but that's about what they consider for long shots. But with this being said, when you factor in first shots, similar to how the dit tier works, these numbers drop awfully. So you're losing about 30% on these TTKs when you start factoring in first shot. Um, and so 600 times 0.3, you're losing 180 milliseconds. You're gonna minus that from the 600. That makes this TTK at about 420. 420 milliseconds. That's, uh, well, right now it's already faster than what the dit tier sits at. And it's faster than what the TG sits at. And it's faster than pretty much every SMG in the game. For the AEK right now. The Sarkov sitting at 570 with effectively even a higher potential because that first headshot is going to do tremendous amount of damage. It's over 100 damage by the time you start factoring in some of these things. And if you start factoring in the headshot barrels along with these rapid shots, these go even lower. And so I want you to know that right now, if you're going to be leveling a weapon and you want to take a gamble on what could be potentially the most destructive thing inside of Warzone, Marksman rifles might just be it. And these weapons are actually highly reliable up close to if you're good at trigger control. Now keep in mind the AEK is burst fire. It's full auto burst. If you've been using any of the rival headhunter carbine, it's a full auto burst, meaning it will burst, but you can hold the trigger and it'll keep firing, making the AEK probably one of the most manageable full auto and still burst weapons that you can ever deal with. And overall, it's going to potentially dominate Warzone just like it's already dominating in Black Ops 6. So if you haven't given it a go out of all of this, please go level up the AEK. Prepare yourself for what may be the next most lethal weapon after the dit tier. But thank you all for checking out the video. Until next time, you'll have yourselves a wonderful evening. The SMG and the AR breakdowns are right here. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then... Peace.